one and three both sides are equal to six. Today we're going to solve multiplication and division equations. Our essential question, how do you solve multiplication and division equations? Let's connect. You can use properties of equality and inverse operations to solve multiplication and division equations. So division property of equality. That's if you divide both sides by an equation by the same non-zero number, the two sides will remain equal. Let's unlock the problem. Mia run 14 laps around the track for a total of 4,200 meters. The equation 14D equals 4,200 can be used to find the D, or distance, in meters that she ran in each lap. Solve the equation and explain what the solution means. So first, let's look. What operation is indicated by 14D? Well, remember, whenever the letter is next to the number, we are multiplying, right? I'm going to write an X there. Multiplication. Multiply. Okay, so let's solve the multiplication equation. So first, we have to try to get D by itself. In order to do that, you must undo multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. That is its inverse property, right? So if I divide, so if I write my 14... I've got 14D equals 4,200. So if I divide both sides by 14, I get rid of that, and I'm left with just my D, right? And then 14, and I'm going to go into 4,200. Um, 14 goes into 2 3 times. It's 42. So I get my 0. I subtract. I bring down the 0. Not going to happen. Keep going bring down my zero, so D is going to equal 300. Okay, to check our answer, to check our answer, we're going to substitute 300 for the D, right? So then that means we have 14 times the 300, and whenever you do 300 times the 14, 4 and 0, 0, 0, we've got 12, do my space saver, 0, 0, 3, we get 4,200, so then that means D equals 4,200, so that is correct. She ran 300 meters in each lap. All right, example one, think, is multiplied by two-thirds, so, oh, sorry, solve the equation, two-thirds in equals one-fourth. So first you got to think, so two-thirds, that's basically dividing, right? And then our two-thirds is next to the n. And whenever you have a number next to a letter, we know that it's multiplication. The opposite of multi or the... And then the inverse of multiplication is going to be division, so you would have to divide, right? So we're going to use the division. And it helps if I can write there. Sorry about that. We're going to use the division property of equality. So in order to isolate this n... I'm going to divide two-thirds in by two-thirds, and remember, whatever I do to one side of my equation to keep it equal, I have to do to the other side. So I ha now my two-thirds is now going to be crossed out, and I'm finally left with my n on this side, right? Remember, and they've kind of rewritten it here for you. Remember whenever you're dividing, so I have two-thirds divided by two-thirds, right? So whenever you're going way, way back to a couple chapters, um, you change the division into multiplication, and you do the inverse on this side. So then your threes cross out and your twos cross out, right? So whatever I did on this side, on the first side, remember right here, whoops, whatever I do on this side, I also have to do on this side, so now I'm multiplying by 3 over 2. 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 2 is 8, so n equals 3 eighths. So the multiplication property of equality. So that's if you multiply both sides of an equation by the same number, the two sides will remain equal. Example two, a biologist divides a water sample equally among eight test tubes. Each test tube contains 24.5 milliliters of water. Write and solve an equation to find the volume of water sample. Write an equation. So we represent the volume in millimeters. So think the volume of equal equals the volume in each test tube. So we're gonna have our V, right? Let's solve the equation. V is divided by 8, so we're going to multiply both sides by 8 to undo. Um, so we're going to put my, put my 8 here. Right? So V equals 8. And as I'm writing my equation, I've got to look, what did it equal? It said that it contains 24.5 milliliters of water. So that was my total, 24.5. So now I'm going to undo it. So I'm going to use the multiplication property of equality now because I've got division here, so now I'm going to multiply both sides by 8. 
multiply this side by 8 and that side by 8. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you've got to do the other side, right? So these will cancel out, and I'm left with B on this side. And then 8 times 24.5, or we could just do that right now. 8 times 8. So 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 4 is 32. 33, 34, 35, 36. And 8 times 2 is 16. I have one decimal space I need to move over. So my answer is 166.0, or you can say 166 milliliters. So to solve the equation 2.5m equals 10, first we need to get isolate the m because that is what our goal is in algebra always. You want to isolate the m. Since 25m is saying 2.5 times m, we are going to use the division uh, property of equality and we're going to divide uh, 2.5m by 2.5. Whatever we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side so that we can get this m alone. And then 10 divided by 2.5. And 2.5 goes into 10 equally four times. So m is going to equal 4. Let's solve a few other equations. So let's look at number 2. We have 3x equals 210. I want to isolate my x, so I'm going to divide because that is the opposite. Whatever I do the one side, I'm going to do the other side. And 3 goes into 210 70 times. All right, you're going to do the rest on your own or with a partner. Oh, actually, let me do one more for you. Let's look at number 6. So we have a equals, or we have 25 equals a over 5. Well, since this is already a division problem, I'm going to use the opposite or the inverse, which is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. And that's going to cross this out. So on this side, I'm left with a. On this side, 5 goes into 25, 5 times. So A equals 5. All right, now you're going to do the rest on your own with a partner, or I'm always there to help you. Good luck. Mm -hmm.